So what is something that you don't know you need until you really need it and you don't have it? I'll give you a hint. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Okay, so did you spot what I needed right there? You didn't? I'll give you a hint. It's tow hooks. Now, let's be honest. I think every four wheel drive, every truck, everything that is potentially gonna go off road, they should have tow hooks on them. And why Mopar didn't put them on the Ram, I have no idea. But I didn't know I didn't have tow hooks until I got buried up to my bumper in my own backyard trying to get my boat out. That's when I realized that I really needed them. So thanks to about seven inches of rain and of course the Minnesota fishing opener being last weekend, I was in desperate need to get the boat out of storage in the backyard, but it was kind of soupy back there. But you know what? I have a four wheel drive. I figured I could make it. I definitely did not make it. It wasn't until my neighbor offered to pull me out of my backyard that I realized there's no tow hooks on the front of this thing. I mean, seriously, look, that's where it should be. That's where it should be, but they're simply not there. So on today's episode, we're going to fix Ram's little oversight and we're installing a couple of these. These are aftermarket tow hooks that I bought off of Amazon. And because blue is my favorite color, I slapped a little bit of uh, blue rust oleum on them. So sit back and relax. Let's get some hookups or hooks on or dig in your hooks. I don't know, whatever. Don't burn the house down. So if you're gonna buy these off of Amazon like I did, they're, you can get it for about 150 bucks. But make sure you check the reviews and the description. I bought a set of these originally and it said they came with these little bezels, but it didn't. So I had to return them and get a different pair that actually did. These are meant to replace this right here. This little trim piece has to come out. That's where your tow hook goes. And then this will go in kind of to replace it. Without these, you're gonna be left to take a Dremel to that little body piece or something else to cut it out. So make sure that you read the, the uh, description or just click the link that I have below and make sure you get these and the bolts that come with it. So after I eyeballed this, uh, I figured that it's probably gonna, probably gonna be a lot easier to remove this little body trim panel here because what we're trying to do is get about right here. And so without this thing removed, you're gonna have a pretty tight spot. So there are five bolts, uh, two back on that back panel there, and three right up in front here, one, two, three. And these are all eight millimeter. So I'm going to pop those off real quick and get this little body panel piece off. Those back two back here don't need to come off all the way actually because they have a little slip hole that you can kind of see if I zoom in a little bit. So when it comes time to take this panel off, these can just kind of slide out of that hole and then come out this way. There. So you don't need to take them all the way off. But I can't get my drill on this front one up here, so I'm just gonna have to grab the ratchet and do it. So I had to switch over to my cell phone for these shots, so hopefully they turn out okay and the audio is okay. But that is the back side of the trim piece that needs to come out. It's gonna mount, the tow hooks are gonna mount using that bolt right there, as well as another hole right there that you can see that's already threaded in the middle. Now what I gathered is that these bottom two pins are just held on by a little retainer clip and the top look like a couple more eight millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna take those eight millimeter bolts out and then I'm gonna pop those little pins off on the bottom there. And I'm gonna see if I can set my phone somewhere to show you what I'm doing. Let's start off on the top here. And I'm doing this blind, so hopefully I can just feel it. It felt like there was a clip on the bottom there, but I don't think there is. I think those are just pegs. If that's the case. We should be able to pop this thing out. 
Well, looks like I can either bend this bottom metal piece. Hopefully you can see that. I can either bend this down to get these to pop out, or I need to find a way to get up top here with some leverage to pop this out, but I can't see it is the problem. So I think we might just end up bending this bottom piece down a little bit. I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. Okay, there's one out. Oh, she's so close. Come on, baby. There she goes. That one's out. I wonder if I hit it from the front now. Still not there. Okay, let's see. Well, that one sink back in, that's why. Oh, there she goes, out the front. Haha, <laughs> got it. <laughs> so here's what we were working with from the outside here. Just a couple little clips right here and the two holes on the bottom. Here's one, here's one. And that's really the only thing holding this in. So, got a little buggered up on those, but that's okay. It'll still work if I ever want to put them back in, but that's what it looks like. So this guy is marked LH for left hand, and it basically works going in the same as the other one came out. There's two little Knobbies on the bottom will fit into here. And I did bend that back up a little bit because I bent it down a little bit trying to get out. And then the factory little clippings that look like this will go back in here. Once we get it inside the truck, we'll screw that back down to tighten it back up. So, in a perfect world, this would just pop in. No issues. <laughs> look at that. That thing snapped right in. That's what it will look like. That's the other one. And that's this one. So now I just need to go inside and reconnect these little guys. So I could not find a good angle to film this at while I was working the wrench on that, but it's pretty easy just to stick your hand up there and get a feel for where these nuts and bolts are. So I was able just to put my eight millimeter uh, ratchet wrench up there. Those puppies slide right in, fairly easy. If I can get it to focus, maybe not. But regardless, you can focus, uh, or you can get to your wrench up there pretty easy, tighten them down. Then, this trim piece is officially done. She's in here, she's secure, she's not going anywhere. Now let's get to the nuts and the bolts, the actual bolts. What we have to do is we gotta get this guy out, this bolt right here, and then we've gotta line the tow hook and get it in installed right there. So that's what we're gonna do next, we're gonna get this guy out. So this bolt right here needs to come out it's an 18 millimeter bolt and it is really in there. So I got it started with a lot of leverage, but it's gonna take a bit to get it cranked out. So keep working on it. So after I cranked on this thing for what seemed like an eternity, it finally broke loose and now it's just kind of hanging in there. So I had to do a little Googling to figure out why. And apparently there's a clip in here that just needs to come out kind of the hard way. So, this is the hard way. I'm gonna have to move the camera, need more leverage. I'll be back. So that little clip is what was on the inside. You just have to kind of 
mangle it to get it off there. So I'll grab a pair of pliers and remove that. I'm not going to put it back in, obviously, not in the state that it's in. We are seconds away from it getting really loud because they're about to start mowing my neighbor's yard. So these bolts come with it. This goes into that other threaded spot on the frame, and that is going to hang up right here. So I'm going to put this in first so that I can set this guy in there and let it hang from that while I secure this other bolt. Side note, why my neighbor needs two professional sized golf course lawnmowers to mow a single yard is beyond me, but they'll be done pretty quick. Okay, so that extra hole is right down here. You can feel it. I'm gonna take the bolt and just start kind of weaving it in there. Let's get it started. There we go. Almost like it's made for it. take the tow hook very carefully put my other hand through here set her in like that voila oh. you're a little tighter here there we go there now I can grab that really long bolt that we took out and get it threaded through there. There. Hey Louise. All right. So right, there it goes. This little air dam piece right here is really pain in the butt. There. Start threading that. Tightening it up. There we go. Okay. Now I'll grab the ratchet and a little bit more aggressive with it here. Probably don't need to film all this, but I'm just going to tighten these two bolts up. So aside from the impossible to get camera angles, I think that turned out pretty good. She's in, she is really secured. I mean, that thing is not going anywhere. And I think that blue is gonna look really sharp once it's done. Kind of accents the e-torque badge up here. That's what I was going for. So all that's left to do is put the body panel back on inside the tire well inside the wheel well, which is just those little five screws, and then do the other side. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, got the passenger side done, got the driver's side done, and I think they look pretty good. In all reality, it comes down to just a couple of bolts. That long bolt is pretty difficult to get out, but I mean, really, it's not that hard. But now if I get stuck in the mud, it won't be too hard to pull me out of there. So honestly, it's not that bad of an install. You know, it took me a couple hours. Uh, cranking those bolts out is probably the hardest part, but on a scale of one to 10, this is probably like a three, maybe a four. I think you could do it if you have a couple hours and a couple bucks, but like I said earlier, every four wheel drive should have tow hooks on it, and now mine does. Let me know in the comments what you think about this or even what about the color if you like it or hate it or anything of the above. So that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.